What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Jesse B. with Pop the Trunk Toys, and today we are featuring from the man, the myth, the fabricator, welder, and designer, a unique and wonderful item that was fabricated by one of my good friends, M3 Reviews. And this is the Unigron Suspended in the Air Upgrade Kit that you can get from M3 Reviews. Man, oh man. Check it out. Now this is a wall mount that you could mount to your wall, suspend your Unicron in the air, and I gotta say folks, I am very excited to have this because you know what? That Unicron is way big, takes up a lot of room, and to get it out of the way, you can get this wall mount right here and suspend it on your wall, and it looks like he's floating in space, and you're all good to go. Check it out folks. Very cool. Empty Reviews has custom made and fabricated this nice aluminum wall mount for your HasLab Unicron, which is very cool. Took the time out, designed it, looked it over, welded it, put it all together, and you get this nice sturdy aluminum piece right here that, you know, will suspend your your Unicron in the air. Now I'm just toying around by saying you can get it with the uh, M3s, um, but definitely very cool looking. Check it out. He welded it very nice into the, you know, the aluminum here. Very cool. Nice circumference right here to a ring to go around the bottom, so that he could uh, sit flush on top. Nice and sturdy. Feels great, man. This ain't going nowhere. Got the nice, you know, to to uh, fit on the stud here. You got the two, you know, where you can put your bolts at to the wall. Very cool. Another good thing he included was this nice stripping to put around the ring, so you don't, you know, scratch your figure up and whatnot. And likewise, very awesome. And then he included a light kit. So he did, you know, he wants you to be extra happy and he makes a really good packet for you. What a great guy. Thank you very much. How awesome. I can't wait to get this light set up on there. Okay. Real quick, here's a look at the remote that it came with for the lights, which is pretty cool. You got a brightener and a dimmer. This is on and off. You got the red, green, blues, all the, you know, colors that file in suit. I guess you got it like a timer. It says four hour, six hour, eight hour, and 24 hour. You got a smooth, you got a fade, you got a strobe, and a flash. And then you have the, the white color too as well. And that's just, you know, the way the, the remote is for the, the little LEDs. Really helpful, really cool. Got some nice selection in there. So another thing that I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna make it match my furniture here by using a flat, you know, uh, primer paint, basically, because all my furniture in here has a flat black finish. So I'm gonna spray that on there. But it did come with, you know, that, that beautiful polished chrome. Very awesome. All right, folks, I'm gonna show you how, when I'm working on it, and we'll go from there, show you the finished product. Now here we're out in the, here in the backyard, watch the master nowder at work. Should have just took cut all that extra string off. I don't know why I didn't. It was just getting in the way. But took advantage of the nice sunny day. Started spraying. Almost got the neighbor's dog. I almost thought this was gonna finish glossy, but it didn't finish nice and flat. So it came out well, and I was happy with the finished product. Pretty crazy how the camera's capturing the, the paint shootout. Kinda neat. Alrighty folks, and we're back with the finished 
finished flat black product and here we go now this is to match all my furniture but man oh man I think it came out okay not too bad not too bad I'm not a painter so you know forgive me <laughs> but it, I like the way it, it did come out looking just like my other furniture in here so let's get this um, last piece of the foam on and let's hang it on the wall this is where we start to place the foam protection for Unicron around the ring. You have to make sure that you cut a little bit extra because going around the circumference makes it short. Now it's time to get the construction hat on and we start to drill into the wall, get the wall mount and start to place it on, start ranching away. And of course, you got to make sure that it's nice and level before you finally secure it on. And that's a wrap. Let's get the lights. Now this process started to take about 25 minutes in total. So I shortened that down. We're using the Twinkle Star color changing fairy string lights. I really like the way these um, present themselves on here. It was really cool. As I started to wind all the string around, I was looping and tucking the wires inside the shell so it made it kind of easy to fasten on there. I just wanted to put it nice and tight all the way around. Now there's plenty of string in this so you could make it uh, lit up as much as you want. Pretty much just save yourself some room for the end so when you plug the show the plug is not short. As we finish up we place the ring back on and then loop it back so that we could place the lighting all the way across the, the ring itself. It's probably best not to give yourself so much slack as I did. Maybe give yourself just enough to, so you could m maneuver the string back and forth. Now we're on home stretch and we start to finish this up so that we could wrap it up and place them in his new home. Alrighty folks, and here we are with the finished product. Just want to give a big thank you. Thank you to M3 Reviews. Appreciate it. Man, oh man, this thing looks glorious. Put the lights all the way around. Ended up putting them on the side too as well. It goes all the way through the back. Nice look at the, the wall mount there. See how it goes all the way around. Nice perfect fit around the ball. It looks awesome. Alrighty folks, and right here we're just going to let the demo roll, so enjoy, watch all the colors. Alrighty folks, and this will start to conclude my video here with the light up set and wall mount from M3 Reviews. Hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I did. If you haven't yet, please hit the like and subscribe. It does help out my channel. This is Jesse B signing out till next time. Y'all have a good one.